Hey, hello everyone. In some cases, we might see different pricing in invoice comparing to sales order. Uh, there might be several reasons for this issue. Let's have a look at them one by one. First, we need to verify the um, uh, pricing type, uh, sorry, pricing date determination in the uh, condition type config level. The transaction code is v slash 06 and same will be stored in the database table T685A. In this pricing type con pricing date config, we can see that different parameters uh, like determine the pricing uh, date based on that standard uh, uh, KOMK PRSDT or uh, service render date based on billing date, current date, sales order date. Uh, so the invoice and the order same condition record has been determined with the same pricing date but still if we see different pricing in the invoice that means there might be some custom code written to override the condition record values so in this case we should have a look at the custom logic we need to verify whether any custom logic has been written to manipulate the uh, pricing and invoice. The last one is to have a look at the uh, copy control config at the item level. You see here in item uh, level, the copy controls, we have a config of pricing type. If, uh, yeah, in the pricing type also we have different controls. Um, that means how the pricing should be redetermined in the, in the target document from source to target. Like, uh, uh, the option A says that uh, copy pricing components and uh, redetermine scales. B means entirely copy everything as new. Don't take anything from reference document. That means reference sales order. C. Copy pricing elements, uh, manual pricing elements as it is and redetermine others. D means copy pricing elements unchanged. So B means carry out new pricing. D means copy as it is from source to target. For example, in our case, it might, they might have maintained as B, carry out new pricing. That means uh, during invoice creation point of time, that might get changed. Is the possibility. Uh, yeah, still you don't understand what went wrong. Uh, then you can uh, go to that analysis tab in that conditions screen. Uh, there we can see that uh, uh, different condition tables under uh, condition types and you can see what value has been determined and uh, what condition record has been missing for what condition table combination. So based on that we can come to know what went wrong exactly in the pricing level. Uh, 